This is video two of a four part series on dealing with anxiety. Today we're gonna to talk about dealing with solitude and building a rhythm around your solitude to help you function more healthily. The first video was all about building a foundation for why we might be struggling with anxiety. I made the case that a lot of it has to do with the noise that's happening in our world with our phones, our televisions, our laptops, etc. Today I want to give you a, a, a tip that should be able to help you uh, kind of antidote that situation. So uh, we're going to talk about getting some solitude out in the world. My first tip seems basic, but it's a game changer, and that's set parameters for your technology usage. So what I mean by that is you start using technology when you wake, let's say, 8 o'clock, and you end technology at a certain point, whenever that point is for you, 6 p.m., 5 p.m., 6.30 p.m., whatever it is. The key here is to give yourself time in the morning without your technology and a significant time in the afternoon or evening without your technology. This is gonna allow you to breathe a little bit and to regain some of that, uh, that mind power that you've lost throughout the day from working. And this will give you an opportunity to uh, read a book, take a long walk, chat with a loved one, uh, eat dinner with your family, but what you won't be doing is checking Facebook and what you won't be doing is reading on how the election's going or what other tragedies happen in the world because these are the things that we've been talking about that bombard us and cause us the stress that we're dealing with. Number two, have a no screen day. So this is gonna look different for you as it will for me. For me, I have a no screen day once every two weeks. So I've set my parameters uh, from eight to six or eight to 5.30 every day depending um, on the day for my technology. And I have calendar invites that I send it to my wife so she knows when it's time for me to shut uh, my laptop or turn off the television. And then uh, every other Saturday, I have a day where I don't look at a phone, I don't look at a television, I don't look at a laptop, and it's just a day to read books, to be with my family, to go on walks, to work out, to do those sort of things. This has freed my mind immensely. I find that I'm more productive on that day in life than I am all week because I'm not thinking about other things, I'm not getting distracted, and I'm not procrastinating. Tip three, have a solitude day once a month. Now, for you, this may look different. You may have one uh, every week. You may have one every two weeks. For me, I have one where I just get out alone by myself. It's a time to go on a hike or to go on a long bike ride where I am, I'm not bringing my cell phone. I'm not bringing uh, television or anything like that. I'm not at a bar watching TV or sports, and I don't definitely don't have my laptop. I'm not working. This is a day that I'm able to get alone. I'm, for me, as a Christian, I'm with God all day. I might bring a Bible if I'm, if I'm on a long hike and I want to stop and read. Um, this is an opportunity for some meditation. This is our opportunity for some prayer. This is opportunity to think through some ideas, bring a notepad and, and goal and dream. Those are some things you can do, but what you won't do is work, and this is what this allows you to do. Oftentimes you come back, you're recharged, you're excited, and you're ready to tackle the world. Tip four, work out four plus days a week. Now this might not have as much to do with solitude as the others, but what it does is it recharges your body. It allows you to think more clearly. You're not on technology during that time. You're not consuming information at that time, and you're able to have fun uh, you know, on a, if you're out on a run or a bike ride or if you're at a CrossFit class or a yoga class with some people, you're able to have those conversations, and it's a great way to recharge you and refresh your brain. Also, when you work out, as you probably know, more oxygen is pumped into your brain and pumped out uh, through your mitochondria, and that's going to allow you um, to, to, to be a little bit more healthy and to feel better uh, as the day goes. I hope these super practical tips helped you on how to get out and, and be alone and, and get free of technology a little bit. Feel free to use the questions below to help you work through this and check out the other videos in the series.